So you step out into the wasteland, surviving decades inside the vault. You look around, and you see all this crap pop up on your screen. And then you wonder to yourself, oh no, I'm in over my head. Why did I pick up Fallout 76? Or why did Game Pass do this to me? Oh no. Is this the beginning of the end? Was my entire life a lie? No worries, because I have the guide for your success in the wasteland. This is Poor Man Games, and I'm here to show you how to be successful in early game of Fallout 76. So the way I would organize is having five steps. If you follow these five steps, you can be conquering the wastelands. Okay? So, let's get started with this. After you create your abomination, uh, you want to make sure that you invest in certain perks at the beginning. It's very crucial. I say strength, intellect, and perception are the three way to go. With strength, you want to get the gladiator perk. That's the first thing for level two. And then for level three, you want to get first aid for intelligence. And level four, you want green thumb for perception. Green thumb gives you extra floral when you collect them from the ground. You also get 10% damage from gladiator. And then you also get 10% more healing from stim packs. Boom, right there. So we're gonna make our way down to the wayward. I know doing these quests can be tedious, but it's really important to do these wayward quests because when you do them, it gives you the opportunity to introduce yourself to the game and learn how the game works and it rewards you along the way. So we head down here. You wanna make sure that you're just being everything you see along the way so you can get some XP. Cause the faster you get XP, the better. Cause we're trying to hit level 14. Cause when you hit level 14, then you go to a location and you can farm sewer mutants if you want to for more XP. Okay? But so when you get out of the vault, come down here, there'll be instruments you can play upstairs. And when you play these instruments, they give you a special stat called uh, Well Tuned, which is an AP boost. So your action points, which is your stamina speed. And when you keep on going, you run into these things called suit flowers. And they're very important to have because you're gonna need them for ingredients. We'll get to that later. And then there's also, if you go here, this is where you can collect wood pieces. I'll show you for where I'm at. So when you keep on going down the path from the vault 76, you'll find this warehouse looking thing. And so when you go over here, inside you'll find all these logs. And then with all the logs there, you can gather them. What's probably one of the most essential crafting materials you can use for boiling water, for cooking food. So make sure along the way you find wood piles and you collect them so it'll save time. Fun tip, you can actually favorite a hotkey items. And when you do that, it will be added to your customization wheel, which you press up on the D-pad. All right, so you make it to the wayward, this corn here. You want to gather water from behind the wayward and be careful because it can cause radiation damage. So make sure you have right away whenever you see it and stim packs because those are crucial and they're very rare to get sometimes in early game. This is the first shelter introduced into the game because you use some mechanics because it's a sleeping bag and sleep right there to get extra boosts. The overseer's caches has loot in them so it can help you survive like water and other food and the cooking station will help you create stuff of course. Next you're gonna go to Green County Lodge. This has some materials including lead that you can use. It's a green building full of opossums and rad roaches, so make sure you have a weapon on you. Go craft yourself a machete like I did. And then down this hallway to the right, oh, let's pick up the suit flower. This is where they have um, a gym, and this is where you can pick up the lead. The lead pieces are used to craft ammo, so it's very important to know what this location is, and you can use it to farm and find some resources like lead. Next, you want to go over here. This is where step three comes into play. When you see this symbol, that means a trader is nearby and you look out for that symbol, the closer you get, you'll see it again. So we need the Flatwoods. This is where they have healing salves. But first, pick up that first aid right there, see what's inside, and then we'll go to the trader and try to sell some of our stuff. So after you do that, you're able to sell some of your goods to the trader. Make sure you try to have some cash on the side so you're trying to travel, fast travel, you have that uh, money saved up. So make sure before you leave, you go to the overseer cashier to the left of the door. And next up, we'll go to right next to it. This location right here is the start of a side quest that you'll need. So you read the terminal, and then it finishes the quest and you get some coins. You're like, yay, hooray, that's great. But 
the more important thing is this unlocks the healing salve. So that's great. Now they have that, you have a more efficient way of healing. So make sure you go to the notes section in your Pip Boy and unlock all those plans you got saved up right there. Great. So now let's talk about the materials you need. So remember how I said uh, make sure you keep the flowers because look, you'll need materials like blood leaf. Stuff is all around the wayward on the riverbank. So make sure you pick that stuff up. And boiled water, of course, with the wood and dirty water. That's and then to the right of wayward, there's a place we can pick up wood besides the mill. And uh, I usually go here too to pick up wood. Then you can farm more wood by going to different servers. So the sift flowers, they're all over here, as you can see on the map, courtesy of falloutcounter.com. Go check them out to go see the map. That's what I use to go find the flowers. So now let's get the hazmat suit. And it's super easy to get um, early game. If you go down here, the Poseidon, it's down south of Wayward. Um, it's a pretty much, it's a power plant and I'm pretty sure it's really easy to spot. It makes you in and out quick because everything here just destroys you. Right here is what you call a resource bank. Uh, it's really cool because it gives you different resources. The best way to do is by using the workbench. You have to claim one. So let's go in here. I'll show you guys how I usually do it to get the hazmat suit early game. But first I'll show you. This is the workbench right here. Um, but be warned, because it activates PvP mode, so be ready for a fight if someone shows up. And right here is a, what you call a fusion core used for power armor. And to charge a fusion cores, to get a new one, you use this thing, a fusion core generator. This is really great because when you get to later on in the game, fusion cores are great for power armor, which is used to help protect you in fights. So, let's keep on going. Watch out for the scourge around here. And also there's these uh, little machine gun turrets on that building to the right side. So that's why I was trying to avoid it. My best thing is just keep on running and you try to go to this location where the staircase is. That's what I remember. Just keep on going over here to the stairs. And when you go up, the hazmat suit's on the way. As you can see, you can avoid most encounters you have. Some enemies are really low level like this scourge right here while others are higher level, so just be careful when you're fighting them and make sure you have a weapon with you. So I head up here. It can be confusing too sometimes, just trying to figure out where it is. But I just remember you gotta get up to the top. When you get up to the top, then it's like a, a white building you just go to and it's right there. Yeah, make sure you also check out two boxes because they contain materials you might need to when you're actually working on your uh, houses, your camps. Okay, so I think it's around, yep, it's right here. See what I'm talking about? And then when you go inside here, there should be a hazmat suit. Usually there is. Sometimes someone else already claims it. So what we would do, you just jump servers. But yeah, hazmat suits are great. They're great in high radiation areas like nuke zones. And you want to go to a nuke zone to help level you up if you can. So make sure you're saving those caps up because traveling can get very expensive for sure. So be on lookout. This is the location right here. Okay, and then a little further up from there, there's a secret thing you can find here. It's usually here most of the time. Um, let's see if we can get lucky finding it. Because it'd be a great way to uh, make some caps. You know, I keep on following the staircase, these red stairs, all the way up. You try and get to the tippy top of this building. Watch out, some more scorches is around. So make sure you have some stim packs or your, your healing patties. Just go on detour see so you can find something. But this is a, uh, a lock right here. If you have level one lock picking, which is in perception, you can pick that. But you only need to worry about that early game. I feel like lock picking and hacking is for later game things, like trying to launch a nuke. Yeah, so I keep on going further up. 
make sure along the way you check every single nook and cranny so you can pick up any material you can because it all helps. It all goes a long way in early game. So right around here should be the top of it and you find this. Da -da -da! A machine gun. But sadly you can't use it yet because it's usually around level 30 or 40. But that's okay. To recap, just go all the way up the building and you'll find the machine gun and a bobblehead right there for you. Nice. It's a luck one. Alright, let's see. Let's see what level it is. Yep, sadly it's level 35. But that's okay. Let's keep on going. Another handy trick is Grafton is a location where you can farm super mutants. They're around level 14 to 16. And it's a great way to farm early game. That's what I usually do. It's a little bit north of Wayward. And you should be good to go. Alrighty, guys. Poor Man Games. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more stuff from me, just let me know. Also, I uh, live stream on Twitch and YouTube every single weekend around 7 p.m. Uh, follow me on my platform if you want to. And I can help you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Try to make it as quick and as efficient as possible. And if you guys want me to make more uh, video tips and tricks on Fallout 76, I'll be definitely down. Just let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see. Quick shout out to the other YouTubers out there who uh, stream Fallout 76 and bring us this great content like um, Innov Survivalist, Angry Turtle, Juice Head, Kev Do It. These people have some great content and they uh, help you with some guides too. So I'll link them below also. When you use a Pit Boy, I like to use Alternative View because it's a faster way of accessing the pit boy and you don't have to worry about the animations. So the overlay is there just to help you get things quicker, access things faster. Go get you do what we gotta do in the wastelands.